to Doist. It is one of the longest standing task management applications in the space right now, and it's bloody fantastic, isn't it? Uh, today, we're going to overview what to Todoist is, what it does in terms of features, and finally summarize with who it's best for. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesco Alessio, and welcome to this channel. Please do make sure to subscribe, check the description for details about this application and to go much further, and obviously find out all productivity applications, all of them, on Tool Finder. So, to Todoist, we're going to be exploring this, and it is a task manager at heart, and it's one of these apps that I typically recommend for everyone, and I mean that. I mean, I could recommend this to my mother-in-law, or I could recommend it to a very busy working professional, and they'd both get a good experience from it. Todoist is very adaptable, and it really does give you a good ability for creating tasks. But what features are inside of it? Todoist offers some really good features both in the free and the pro account. And it does offer you the ability to create projects or lists and be able to plan that in both board and list view. It's also got some more custom views as well. It's got great subtasks and also new extensions and applications allowing you to turn some of your tasks into habits as well but is that is locked under the pro account. Now there are some limitations, but it's not as bad as you think. And there are some great abilities like upcoming for planning your week ahead as well. And it is great to have that Kanban board view to be able to plan and organize some of your tasks, even if they're not allocated to a day just yet. Todoist is probably the best all round to-do list experience. And it comes also with Karma, at, which is a way of ranking your productivity setup and how many points you've got across the day and some great applications along the board as well. Todoist, as I said, probably one of the best all-rounders. So who is this best for? As I mentioned at the start, it's one of those applications that spans such a wide usage. And I would typically recommend it to those who are looking for something simple but easy that works well and they just need to manage their tasks in an easy fashion. I always see Todoist on people's phones as I go about everywhere because it's one of those applications that a bit like Microsoft to do, it really does keep a general use, but it has some more advanced functions that give you uh, some good abilities. But if you're looking for the perfect to do this application, and maybe Todoist is not them, then you can find us over on Tool Finder to explore a bit more about at productivity applications and to do this applications in particular. But a big big thank you for stopping by and hopefully we helped you understand to do this. If you want to subscribe, check us out there. But for now, thank you very much and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.